Hey guys, Drew here with God's Manufacturing. Wanted to give you a quick overview and installation of our brand new Chase Light antenna bracket. If you order them in a pair, they're gonna show up to you like this, wrapped in foam. I've gone ahead and broken that tape for the sake of this video. And I'll go ahead and pull out these brackets. We've got two here. And you can see this bracket is bent in a zigzag, for lack of a better term and it is designed to mount to the front of your bulkhead on any truck. It is a universal fitment. It will also work around tonneau covers as you can see that I have installed here on my truck. And on the top, you have two 3 8 holes. One of these holes would be designated for a chase light. The other one will be designated for a 3 8 NMO antenna mount. Um, so these are both 3 8 pass-throughs and in order to install this, we will have to temporarily move the tonneau cover out of the way, but we'll be able to push it back into its final location when we're done with the installation. And we'll show you everything and how that looks. On the face, this is the part that's gonna to mount to the bulkhead itself. You can see a series of 10 holes, five uh, basically in two lines. And this is what you're gonna to use to rivet these brackets to that front bulkhead. So it's a very, very simple installation. There's just a few steps we have to go through, and then we'll show you how to actually get the lights and the antennas mounted to this at the end of the video as well. So stay tuned. Okay, so at this point, we've loosened the bolts on my retracts cover and we've slid it back. You can see I just have enough shoulder width here. We didn't move it very far. Um, and on the front of these Ram trucks, we have this little 90 degree bracket. I'm gonna use that as my locator because I'm installing two of these today. I'm gonna do one on the driver's side, one on the passenger side. And that way I know that they're relatively even and I don't have to bust out a tape measure. If you do not have something like this, a feature on the front bulkhead, um, go ahead and measure it. You can really put these wherever you want. You just need to be mindful that there's nothing back here that you're gonna hit when you start to make your drill marks. So, I have plenty of space back here. I'm not worried about that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put the bracket on the bulkhead itself, and then I'm just gonna slide it over till it touches this edge right here. And then from there, I'm going to just scuff that powder coat, or I'm sorry, the uh, bed liner. And that one looks good. I'll hold the bracket back in place. Scuff it again. We're using a 3 16 inch drill bit, which is also gonna be the same size as the rivets that we provide. So once you've got those marked, we can just go ahead and drill out our hole. Okay, punch through one. Punch through two. So we're done with the drill on this side. Go ahead and put that bracket back in place. And we're gonna grab one of the provided rivets. You're going to need just a standard rivet gun. We got this one at Home Depot. It's nothing fancy. You do need to make sure it has a 1 8 inch mandrel. You'll go ahead and put the rivet inside the gun itself. And then you will insert the rivet through the bracket and also through the bed. You wanna make sure that the head is flush to the bracket itself. And then from there, you're just going to start squeezing. And what this is doing is sucking in the back side of that rivet. And we're gonna do this until we get a pop out of the rivet itself. So the rivets that we give you are a long throw. So on beds with a little bit thinner material, they are going to take quite a while to pull. All right, so our rivets are now set here. Um, this thing is super solid. It is not gonna go anywhere. Um, what we're gonna do next is go ahead and get a Baja Designs S2 that we're using as a chase light installed on one side of the bracket, and then we're gonna go ahead and put the antenna on the other side.
All right, so you can see we've got our brackets set up. We've gone ahead, put the light on here. We've got the antenna mount on as well, or at least the base of it. And we've got some wires that we have to manage here. I've got the other bracket in this kit and I have a zip tie that we're gonna provide to you. This zip tie has a push style Christmas tree mount on it. And there is a corresponding quarter inch hole on the back side of this bracket. I'm gonna show you here in the light because it's gonna be a little dark back there. But basically what we're gonna be doing is just pushing this right into our bracket. And then the zip tie itself will loop around. You'll do that around the wires and then they, you'll get one nice little bunch of wire. So set that to the side. I'm gonna readjust here and I'll go ahead and get this into the hole. And you wanna do this after the fact. You don't wanna install the brackets with the zip ties in. It's just gonna be in your way. And then I will get this zip tie around my wires, loop it back into itself, and then Get the cables looking nice, however you like them there in the back. And then you'll just go ahead and snug that down. And then if you have to do a little bit of adjustment here or there, leave it loose enough that you can kind of wiggle it through. That way you don't have any kinks or anything in the line. I want a little bit more for the antenna here, so I'm gonna pull a bit through. And that's pretty good and well done. Give that one more, and then all you gotta do is come back with a pair of clippers and just cut off your tail. So at this point, we've got the bracket on the bulkhead. We have the rivets installed. Um, they're done. We've got our antenna base installed. The light bracket and the light itself is installed. And then we went over and did the zip tie as well to manage those cables. That way you don't have a bunch of loose stuff bouncing around. I'm gonna go ahead and take my six decibel gain whip here, and I'm just going to thread it right onto my base. And you can see that this bracket comfortably holds a Baja Designs S2 and your antenna for your GMRS radio. This bracket was designed and optimized to hold a, basically a three inch pod light. So whether that's a rigid D series light or it's a Baja Designs S2 or Squadron, all of those lights are gonna fit right here just fine. From a weight perspective, it could support something as big as an LP4 if you feel like overachieving. But do know if you're running a light that big, you're probably not gonna be able to get the antenna next to it. So these brackets, again, they can hold one or the other. You don't have to put both on the passenger side of my truck. I'm only gonna have a light on there and then I'll have an open hole. Um, on that open hole, one day I might put something like a WeBoost there. We did design these with something like that in mind as well. Um, however, open holes aren't necessarily a problem. So run this as you guys see fit and tune in to see what else we have coming down the pipeline. All right, so we've got this install wrapped up. Our Retrax is back in place. Uh, we've got our S2 chase light and the antenna ready to go. Um, I used a one inch bolt here. What bolt you guys use is gonna be up to you because some of those bolt sizes are also gonna be dependent on the bracket in which the light you're using as well. So keep that in mind. The bracket's only an eighth inch thick, but you wanna have enough thread for your nut to obviously lock into place as well. So I used an inch. That's about as much as we're gonna go. Three quarter inch probably would be suitable. But again, make sure you do your measurements when you're installing this. Uh, other than that, um, just wanna have Grant pan around here show the front in a minute, but we've got the tonneau back in place. The gasket goes right over the bracket and seats back down nicely to the bed. So you're still gonna maintain a very good level of weather resistance uh, while still supporting lights and an antenna in an easy to do way.